Do you feel that? Feels like some kind of weird energy, like I'm evolving. Paldea Evolved is finally here, and with it come a ton of awesome new cards. And to get myself started on all those awesome new cards, I've got the special Poke Center Elite Trainer Box. The box itself is beautiful, and if we flip it over, we find a preview of everything inside, as well as our list of contents. Now, I never noticed this before, but they actually mention the box itself as one of the contents. I feel like they don't really need to do that. There's already enough stuff on this list that they're not hard pressed for selling points. And could you imagine buying a Pokemon Edition Switch and on the list of everything inside it says, and there's a cool box you can chuck into the back of your closet. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore the artwork on this box. It is magnificent, and the box itself absolutely is handy for storing everything in it. But by that measure, so is the box it shipped in. I don't think anyone out there is buying this specifically for the box itself, right? You know, maybe on second thought, someone out there absolutely is. Now, enough about the box itself, we're all here for what's inside. I mentioned in my previous video that there are some really nice cards that I'd like to see. They're the Full Art Fue Coco and the Skeledurge EX. We might be able to find them in this booklet here, but if not, maybe we'll find them inside, right? I have seen some of the pull rates on Twitter, and I know a lot of people have suffered some disappointment, but I'm hoping that we won't have to suffer that same disappointment. Regardless though, just about anything good in this box would be good enough. Now, one thing that I am also looking for is the Full Art Tyranitar. I know that one's pretty rare, but we'll see what we can do. Inside, as usual, we have our Cardboard Protector. We have our Booster Packs that I'll pull out and set aside here. We also have some plastic condition markers. Actually, yeah, plastic. They've got a nice shine. I thought they were metal for a second. We've got our sleeves that actually look really nice, and I might end up using these. Does anyone know if they're competition legal, or would I have to get special sleeves instead? We've also got our promo card that we'll set aside. Then... We've got our bundle of energy cards that I guess we can give to the dog to eat. There's not too much we can do with that. We've got our click clacks that we can sacrifice to RNGesus back there. Then we've got our cardboard dividers to divide everything up in the box. And finally, our code card. And we can set those aside and get a better look at the promo cards here. They are absolutely beautiful. I really like this Pikachu, and if this wasn't a promo card, I would hope to get it in the boosters themselves, but knowing my luck, I wouldn't get them in the boosters itself, so I would probably have to buy one, and I would buy one anyway. Now, it is time to see what Paldea Evolved has in store for us. I'm nervously excited for this, because I'm really bad at keeping my hopes down. There's always that little bit of hope that keeps me disappointed at the end of the day. But what's never disappointing is our friend, the code card. We'll set that aside, take our energy from the back to the front, and get going. We've got our basic energy, Tarantula, Murkrow, Mischievous, Sneasel, Pomo, Gotharita, Honchcrow, a nice Fletchling, another Sneasel, and Noivern EX! What a great way to start this box! That has a great little star pattern on it, and it's a really cool looking card. Hopefully though, that's not the best one, and that there's plenty more to come. We'll get right into the second pack, and see what else we can come out with. Now, have you guys been opening Paldea Evolved yet yourselves? Let me know if you have and what you've gotten in the comments below. This one's a little tough to open. I feel like they've sealed these a little bit better. They're certainly harder than the Crown Zenith ones from last week were to open. We've got our code card that we'll set aside. Move our energy to the front. 
and we can get started with our basic energy. Rookity, Pikachu, Slack Off, Watchroll, Corvusquire, Artisan, Paldean Tauros, Makuhita, another Pikachu, Gyarados, and that's it. So nothing great in that one, but that's okay. We started really well with our Noivern EX, and we'll keep going. Maybe the easier the packs are to open, the better the cards are inside, right? There we go. You can try a little different trick to get them open. We'll take our... Whoa, this guy's upside down and backwards. <laughs> That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But we have seen our energy before. Bramblin, Shinx, Nimble, Mashif, Giacomo, Talonflame, Heracross, Fletchling, Giacomo again, and of course our upside down Hariyama. That was really weird, but you know, maybe uh, the packs are evolving as well. We'll try to get this guy open. I saw a technique for opening these that doesn't seem to be working that well for me. Maybe I've just reverted back to being really bad at opening packs again. Maybe I've actually unevolved. Regardless, we've got our energy. Fue Coco! Bramblin. Cufint. Krogunk. Practice Studio. Florigato. Quaxwell. Dendra. Sneasel, and Jumpluff. It's a pretty nice looking Jumpluff, but not nice enough. We'll get all of these cards out of the way, so that way they don't build up. And get into our next one. Yeah, I don't know if I like that different way of opening. The cards feel like they've just slid too far down in here for me to open them in that way. I always try to get the little slit here but sometimes it tries to hide itself. These packs are definitely putting up a fight. They don't want to reveal the goodness inside, and I don't blame them. As usual, we've got our code card, and we'll move our energy to the front before getting started. We've got Slack Off, Wooper, Pikachu, Cufint, Kilowattrel, Azumarill, Vespiquain, Voltorb, Superior Energy Retrieval, and Rapska. Pretty cool. I do still like the silver edges on these. They make them feel a little bit more special than before. But what I would like even more is for this pack to have a full art card in it. So we'll see. We'll see what it has. We'll get it opened really nicely and get to our code card. Slide our energy forward because I still like doing that. A lot of people just ignore the energy, but they don't ignore Citadel, Shrudel, Phalanx, Jigglypuff, Delivery Drone, Fur Giraffe, Spidops, Pinchurin. Whoa, a gold energy! And Tyranitar, not the full art but still a cool hollow Tyranitar and a really cool gold energy. I think this is the first gold card I've pulled on this, on the channel. So we'll set that aside and get into our Quaquaval pack. Now we'll try opening it. Seems to sometimes work and sometimes not for me there, but maybe I just need more practice with opening stuff outside of the YouTube channel, right? Maybe not. I like sharing everything I open with you guys. We've got Energy. Krogunk. Rookity. Magnemite. Phalanx. Ice Q. Ayano. Knacklestack. Love Disc. Oh, wow. A full art Arctabax. And Baxcalibur right behind. This is a really cool full art back or Arctabax. I really like the design on that. It's a little trippy. 
But all three of them are actually really cool looking as well. So we'll set that guy aside. So far, the second half of this is being really kind to us, and I hope it stays that way. Now, there we go. Maybe I'm figuring that out. We'll get this guy open. And see what else is in store for us. We've got fire energy. Tad bulb. Giraffe rig. Great ball. Relor. Passimian. Reversal energy. Therapeutic energy. A nice Magikarp. Luminous energy. And Bella Bolt EX. What an awesome looking card. I do like the star pattern on this one too. It's a little bit different than the Noivern EX. We pull this one back. Oh, um, you know, maybe they're pretty similar. Either way, they are both gorgeous. I'm trying to get them both to a point where they shimmer nicely in the light. So we'll set these guys aside and move on to our third to last pack, our Skeledurge full art. Maybe Skeledurge can give us the Skeledurge, right? If there was a Skeledurge in this pack, I would be thrilled. But you know what else would make me thrilled? A sub to the channel. <laughs> We've got Energy, Combi, Jigglypuff, Girafferig, Tropius, Calamitous Snowy Mountain, Corvusquire, Artisan, Calamitous Snowy Mountain again, Dino, and Slacking. Slacking always seems to haunt me, whether it's in the Evolving Skies packs or in here, just always haunting me. We've got two left, so let's hope for something else. Though, four good cards, can't really be too upset with that, right? We've got our code card, as usual. We can take our energy from the back to the front. We've got energy, Quaxley, Tinkatink, Pinchurin, Makuhita, Choice Belt, Pomo, Tinkatuff, Wingle, Calamitous Wasteland, and Sableye. Not bad. Now we are down to our final pack, and we'll see if our final pack has any last pack magic for us. We've got our code card, as usual. And you know, I've got a good feeling about this pack. I don't know, something about it gives me a really good feeling. We've got our energy, Hop It, Great Ball, Makuhita, Pinchurin, Paldean Tauros, Practice Studio, Florigato, Choice Belt, Gothita, and... Tinkaton! I guess that good feeling was just Tinkaton getting my hopes up. But we still had a great adventure. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Collectible Adventures on Twitter and Instagram. And good news! The giveaway boxes have finally been claimed, which means it's almost time to celebrate. But until then, I hope you all have some great adventures of your own, and I'll see you next time.